Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 10, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to a full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and yes, we have another green day for the S&P and also the other indices. They have fallen a little bit towards the end of the trading session. And I have to say, it looks like we are about to slow down. We just It just became red here. So we basically now we're down 0.01%. Not a lot, but it is basically a sign that we are slowing down here. And we will most likely drop towards... Uh, this channel or the 20 exponential moving average that is moving this way so a possible entry is roughly 3850 that is what i am waiting for in order to enter for a buy so target here is uh, 4000 or 4100 um that is most likely where we're going towards um if we fall back here which is very uh, very uh, expected if we consider that we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band and uh, usually we fall towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, that is roughly 3,850. Or even uh, better, if we fell all the way down towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, then we're talking about 3,730 or, or 50, give or take. So technical indicators, they are still bullish, but they are showing signs of weakness. You can see the RSI is turning around, the CCI is turning around, so is the stochastic, while the MACD is still above the signal line. But expect a pullback towards 3,850 or, or 3,800, uh, give or take, in that area, and a target uh, to the upside to 4,000. Yes, let's look at the Dow Jones. So the same thing here for the Dow Jones. We have been in a massive rally the last seven days, broke down a little bit and then rallied yet again today. At this point, we are getting fairly overstretched. We could see one more day where we try to get to the top of the Bollinger Band and then we'll break down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we can get rid of this. So what we most likely will see is a rally up towards roughly uh, 31,500 and then we'll break towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average around 31,000. And then after that, we can start targeting 31,500 or 32,000. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, the CCI, the stochastic is bullish, while the RSI and the CCR are flat at this point. So rally up towards uh, 31,500 and then break towards the 20 the moving average and then a rally after that towards 30 uh, 30 uh, 1500 or 32000 so let's look at the nasdaq so we can see that we are slowing considerably down here in the nasdaq it is not as bullish as it has been the last few trading days we will most likely see the nasdaq fall back towards the 20 exponential um probably won't happen tomorrow maybe if you see there usually is a trigger that basically goes off and then most of the indices fall at the same time so we what we could see here is a fall towards a roughly uh, 13,400 give or take that is most likely where we're going to at this point so the target here is 14,000 or 15,000 that is basically target for the nasdaq the technical indicators are still fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, Narcastic is bullish, while the RSI is showing signs of weakness here. It is basically rounding off and becoming bearish, while the CCI is uh, flat at this point. We are getting towards the top of the Bollinger Band, and usually what that means is that we'll fall towards the middle, which is roughly 13,300, 13,400, give or take. And that is where your buying opportunity will be. If you fall below the 20 exponential, then the 40 and the 50 will offer major support in this case. But targets here are 13,000 and then 15,000 after that. 
So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.